that's a, that's like my nightmare. Good morning, Tatsters. Midweek, Wednesday morning. That must mean one thing. It's my favourite boot sale. We're going to hopefully be picking up some really cool, quirky stuff. Hopefully buying it cheap, selling it online for a profit. That's my business. That's how I make money. Keep a roof over our head, feed the kids and all that good stuff. You know the drill by now. I've got a GoPro. I've attached it to my backpack. Come with me, point of view. Look at all the things I've missed out on. I think the last video I've done on my Wednesday one, I put down a 100 to 200 pound cine camera. Yeah, that thing. I quickly picked it up, put it back down again. Didn't feel like anything special. I uh, was too busy looking at the Polaroids, but a couple of you in the comments, thanks for letting me know. I'm, I doubt it's still there. This was two weeks ago now. Um, yeah, even faulty where I've got maybe 50, 60 quid if it was working. Yeah, near 200. Woo! That's, a, that's like my nightmare. But um, I hope we'll learn. Engine on, belt on, safety first. Let's get in there. Hopefully find some good stuff. See you in the field. Tell you what I have got, a fresh cover for the trolley. I'll put a link down below. This one kind of broke. <laughs> there we go, nice and fresh. Crispy clean. Let's get in. How much on that one? Seventy five. Seventy five. Yeah, 2007 apparently, 75 quid. How much on the typewriter? 30. Yeah. 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 Oh, are you alright? Yeah, we beat you here today. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> and then Ron's got the eight coming.
Maybe you're not nah, yeah, nah, I, I know the shoes. Trust me. All these shoes, all these shoes, all these shoes. Know he's the all these shoes cost over a thousand pounds when you're taking them. Over ten grand when you're taking them. These booties are uh, 800 pounds of time. What's the game? 15 that one. Brand new, never been out, I didn't see it, it's done up. Yes, yeah, I couldn't do the exact date. Later on, the earlier game, I'll say, because of the game, you know. We're moving. So All right. I'm getting rid of loads of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> How much are the shoes? Piver. Okay. There's a bus here there. You've got the churches. There's another uh, There's a Russian Bromley. Alright. Yeah, Russian Bromley. Yeah. 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 I'll grab those, please. If you want two yeah. pairs, I'll do a double pair cheaper. Uh, Excuse me. How much is it? Uh, 20 quid. Uh, yeah. Is it £8 for two then? I took these as well. Yeah. 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 I'll take two then. Getting rid of them? Yeah. <laughs> These are all handmade shirts in LA. Oh wow. He used to have all these shirts made and uh, yeah. they've all got his initials in, but they're so ah. beautiful. Is that the world? Uh. <laughs> you know any really big guys? Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Morning. How much are the are they yours? The baseball caps? Yes, right, don't right. How much are they? Yeah, I'm a good baseball cap. Baseball cap. Um pounding. Okay, um how many were they? <laughs> Yeah. Um, How much are your shoes? Um, the prices at the moment, they're 50 poundies, new. What's the best price for four? For four? Yeah. One, two, three, four pairs. No, it's I've got others. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've got the other five, ten, fifteen, nineteen. 15 pounds. Three. That's the lowest I'll go. Four. Can I get them four, please? Yeah. yeah. Would you have got 13 pounds? No, I certainly wouldn't. <laughs> no. Thank you. How much are you? How many? Uh, four. four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Thank you, Ben. Thanks for that. That's Thank you. So tell me where it is, mm -hmm. and then I'll park here. Do you know what I mean? Oh, it's on the boot. Sorry. 
Come on, Tim, please. Yeah? I'll take your car, it's up to you. You can your car close to it. I'll take them ones, please. One, two. There you go. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. How much are the phones? They did work. Yeah. Black one's 15, I think the other one's 20. Okay. Would you 30 for both of them? Yeah, go on, yeah, go on. Yeah. Um, they do both work as well. Right. Yeah, looking good, Nick, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, there you go. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you. How much on the keyboard? Sure. Box is a pound. Cool, yeah. Uh, I'll take that then. Got a tenner for them, mate. That's fine. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers. How much on the video player? Uh, 15. Okay. How about the pasta machine as well? Okay. okay. We do 10 on the video. Not the minute. No? no. Um. Did you do 10 for that one? Sorry? Did you do 10 for that one? Oh my god, yes mate, yeah. yeah. There you go, cheers. Thanks, mate. cheers. Cheers, yeah. A bit of weight left in there, mate. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> cheers, mate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, is that for you to sit on? That's, <laughs> no, that's just holding that sheet down at the moment. Oh, okay, that's, that's fine. Yeah. On the skates. Okay. I'll take them, please. Yeah. <laughs> That's great, thank you. Cheers.
How much on the chair? Two quid, mate. All right. Did you have a, like, a matching one or anything? Or was it just oh, on no, its own? Just a no. solitary one, that one. That's yeah. right, I'll yeah. take that. Yeah. Not bad, yeah. Uh, one. Two. Perfect. There you go. Thank, Thank you. you. Very much. Cheers. Cheers. Not bad, not bad at all. Nice sunny morning, trolley full of tap. I'm a happy boy. Whew, another slow, slow burner that one. Um, seems to be a theme. Had one pickup for the longest time, just walking around aisle after aisle, just one pickup in my trolley. The pressure was on. Again, by the end of it, I'm very happy. Got a nice IKEA bag full, so multiple items just in one ikea bag so nice and small not taking up too much uh, space in my unit and things so again overall very happy nice mixture of vintage quality a couple of bargains like proper steel thrown in there as well uh but yeah got the school run now so i quickly whip off now and then i'll see you back in the unit to go through in detail what i did get so i'll see you in a bit made it back on time school run done i'm now back in the unit ready for another working day I've laid everything out I just bought and yeah, a nice Ikea bag full. So quite a few pickups, really happy with how it went yet again. I spent a grand total of, I think it was 70 pound 50p, including getting in. So I spent a nice little bit uh, and lots and lots of profit to be made yet again. So this remains my favorite brute sale still. Let's quickly flip you around, show you what I got, what I paid, what I'm looking to list it for and hopefully sell it for as well. Here we go, a nice mix again. And we'll start with these or this. Nice vintage camping chair. I like picking up them in like a matching pair. Uh, single ones, they do sell still. Like this one only cost me £2. Should sell easily, 25 to 30 But if it was a pair, nice matching pair. They're going 50 to 60 at the moment. Fold it flat, wrap it up on its way. Nice easy sale. So yeah, 2 to 25 30 I'm always picking that up. And actually the ones I picked up originally from the first boot sale of the year. I've sold the last pair now. I've only got this single one left. I bought them for 50 including the game uh, and I was selling them at 80 pound a pair uh, that's the last pair gone just a single one left so yeah really happy with how that went got a bit more for them because they're a bit different they looked really nice this is more of a bog standard one not floral or anything you've got a nice floral design like Larry colors and things and that's what gets the big money but yeah with that two pounds easy money come on to some electricals Nice video camera, but well, I say it's a nice one. I've tried to test it and it's pretty much faulty. I've got to sell it for parts, but I bought this for £10. Like I've said before, um, I'm willing to take a punt when it's £10 for like a video camera, especially when it comes with like a bag with all the bits. So we've got the charger here, there's a battery or two inside, spare tapes, so my £10 is safe. I can sell that for like £10-15 as faulty, see if someone can make something with that or fix it or something. It powered on in that, but it's a bit mucky inside and this got stuck. So it opened, but it won't go back down. And I couldn't really see anything on the viewfinder. So yeah, try and get 15 pound back on that. So that's my money back and then sell the charger and everything else separately. And then there's the profit. If it was working, I'd be looking at 50 to 60 pounds. Uh, obviously it took the risk, it hasn't worked out, but still can make a little bit of profit. Got a nice heads up again from a subscriber. Uh, told me that there was a couple of vintage phones uh, at the very far back end of the field. I probably wouldn't have gone there because they're all by themselves right at the back. So thanks for the heads up because I ended up picking them up and something else as well. We start with these. Uh, they wanted 15 and 20. Got the two for 30. Paying up a little bit but uh, this was my favourite one. This is probably going to fetch the most money. This is an original vintage uh, trim phone it's called. I think GPO it's called the brand and company. British Telecom. So nice and vintage and things. £15 each and I was happy to pay that because um, I sell these even the plain white and black colours they go for good money like sort of £35-40 pounds. but I've never seen anything in this colour before like a yellowy orangey type colour looked it up online couldn't see any competition for this sort of colour either so a very rare colour so I'm going to be asking a premium I was looking at other coloured ones that there's like a purple one and things they were fetching like 60 to 80 so knowing me i'm probably gonna be chancing that sort of 80 ish pounds maybe even pushing 100 especially if there's no competition no results for this color uh, if a collector wants this color i'm the only one on the market uh, so that's why i can ask a premium 
Obviously start higher and then if obviously it is a bit too high and there's no takers, then bring the price down to 80, then to 60, see how it gets on. But from 15, yeah, always making money with that one. Then we've got this one as well. Sort of a more traditional vintage telephone. Although this one was quite surprising because if I take that off, so I drop that. This one is made in Canada, which is really unusual. I haven't seen a telephone made in Canada before. Feels quality, nice and heavy. Not baker like, just a normal plastic. Again, nice and clean, seems to work fine. And that's the other thing. Both of these phones have been adapted to work on the current telephone system, on the BT like telephone system. This one and that one, which is adding value. The customers can just plug them in and use them in a home ready to go. So yeah, 15 for this one. This one is probably 40 to 50. I'll research it a bit more because yeah, really unusual to be made in Canada. Yeah, guarantee profit again yeah happy with them they're from the same stall so they priced them up a little bit then there's like a bargain bucket type thing and i noticed this uh, normally these are like cheap sort of remakes like chinese copies and things but turn it around and there we go the apple logo was there in the like their cheap box magic keyboard so wireless keyboard which is really really nice to find ask them how much i thought they were going to price it up because i've seen they know their stuff like these telephones were the prices they were um but yeah one pound i had to pay for this bargain of the day so with an apple logo on for one pound unbelievable unheard of there was an imac i think it was an imac um when i was, was first there uh he wanted 75 pounds and i think they go for about 100 so there wasn't any money after fees and things uh so yeah one pound this keyboard should be 25 30 um maybe even pushing 35 really nice condition to test it out just put an aa battery in link it up and it should be working an absolute steal at a pound this is a hefty thing nice jbl massive sort of sub speaker had 14 pound on it got it for 10. yeah really heavy thing made well here we go 300 watt yeah made proper really heavy it's, oh i'm gonna have to put it down holding it with one hand uh yeah really good condition uh wasn't too sure um so I looked up when I was there just to briefly see like the model number on the back. Uh, this £10 should be turning into around £50, £60. So quite heavy, but um, obviously it's just a single speaker. So I could put it in a nice box, pad it out, send it off to the world, whoever wants it. Pretty easy enough. So yeah, another tasty profit. Footwear. We've got four items today. This was another bargain. £2 for some Timberlands, like pink Timberlands. Waterproof as well, which will add a bit more value. Don't want wet feet while you're going on your walk. We've got a size seven. I'm not sure if that's US size seven, so women's six. That looks like a seven to me. So yeah, still at two pounds, and these should be hopefully 25, 30, and again, maybe pushing 35. Decent condition again, just general wear and tear. Yeah, happy to find them for two pounds. I originally was gonna leave these Hugo Boss shoes. Uh, they were five pound each. Uh, she said if I bought more than one, she would do a deal. So I got two for uh, eight pounds, and I'm glad she did. So I thought, um, even though it's Hugo Boss, like black leather, I thought the style was sort of a bit old fashioned, sort of not in fashion. So I thought they wouldn't sell very well, uh, maybe sort of 18, 20 pounds. Um, but I just looked them up briefly before I started filming and this should be more of a 40 to 50 pound sale. So I'm glad she did persuade me to pick up a second pair. Obviously dust them off, bit of black shoe polish on them, make them look good in the pictures. Four pounds into hopefully 40 to 50. These were the main ones I was after. Nice pair of vintage churches, English shoes. Uh, I think these are size nine and this is Abington, the design or the model. Nice buckle shoe, black leather again. Again, same story of these. Um, bit of black shoe polish, put up some shoe trees in them, make them look good to the pictures. Uh, looked them up again. Someone's asking like 200 odd pounds for a brand new set. Obviously these aren't new. An international seller got 70 odd pounds as an auction. So I might be able to push three figures for these. Maybe not quite, maybe 80, 90-ish. Um, yeah, good size, size nines. Normally vintage shoes, you get smaller sizes, sort of seven and eights. So yeah, happy to find a nine. Nice buckle, nice name. Four pound into hopefully about 80-ish. So well chuffed with that. I picked up a pair of vintage skates for a while. Uh, I go through stages. Normally when I get one, I get a few skates in and then I'm backed up. They don't fly off the shelf, but um, they do sell for good profit. This was, I think it was £3. I think these were a size 6, it says on the bottom. There they go, 6. 
yeah just a standard nice vintage like roller skate and as things are opening up i'm sure roller discos and things will be back on again so hopefully they should sell a bit quicker but for three pounds a nice bargain price again hopefully 2025 20, maybe pushing 30 proper retro thing the last lot here baseball caps not major money in baseball caps but when i see american sports teams and baseball caps then yeah if they're cheap then i'll just drop them on the floor not major money but if i see them cheap and they're american sort of sports then yeah i'm always gonna pick them up these were a pound each they had a few more but they weren't anything special really we've got new york yankees obviously a baseball team our genuine merchandise 47 brand so yeah all a pound each um probably 12 to 15 pounds each as well so there's that nice yankees one got a nice shiny sticker on there there's that one <clears throat> los angeles kings nice little snake skin design this one is 950 snapback new era vintage hockey nice and clean probably same again 12 to 15 pounds we on to the nba orlando magic new era again 950 nice and clean just the sticker has a bit of wear there which is a bit of a shame right leave it on though nice big logo yeah same price again and then chicago bulls just noticed what's that ah oh, it's a couple of holes there oh, that's a bit annoying ah oh, that's a shame but chicago bulls got the ball on the side there mitchell and ness this is a hardwood classics oh so only one hardwood classic this would probably be more 15 18 but with the holes uh, might be a hard sell might be again 12 15 might have to accept an offer uh like 10 8 10 pounds but from a pound obviously not going to break or anything in the post so no problems there and that's today's pickups done really happy again i'm glad it's not big bulky stuff all the time we'll see from past boot sales i've been picking up big heavy and lumpy stuff that takes up a lot of room um and obviously i'm limited on space i've only got this storage unit still plenty of room to go hopefully clearing this corner out as well as we're decorating moving stuff back in getting the baby stuff in it's getting nearer and nearer now <laughs> so that, that corner will be free again soon but if i was picking up big bulky stuff all the time like this lamp uh, i'd soon run out of space so yeah really happy that it was just an ikea bag full lots of profit medium to small parcels easy to deal with yeah a nice little break from big heavy things and that's the end of another boot sale video everyone loves a boot sale video but i need to try and do a few more different videos obviously i need to show you what has been selling been giving you prices but it's good to see what actually stuff does sell for was to get a few doubters here and there that don't trust what i'm saying um obviously i try and be conservative with my prices uh, i do end up listing them for more sometimes they sell for more they get what i say sometimes a bit lower but not all the time look out for some sold videos I'm trying to do a couple of lives with some guests so look out for that so if you're subscribed or if you're not subscribed sorry hit that subscribe button hit the bell so you know when i do go live or when i upload new videos you get notified straight away jump in on the action and that's me done got a crack on and sell all this stuff now so yeah, hopefully it doesn't linger around. And I'll see you in the next video. Sell lots, be safe, see you later.